Hey, RHS. I'm Julie Lack. And I'm Gerald Heimer. And this is Robin Lozell always has to keep her head in the game in order to succeed in cross country. Here's Derek Patterson with what Lozell does to stay focused. Hello, RHS. I'm Derek Patterson, and we're going to hear what Robin Lozell has to say about her rise to success in cross country. What do you think about Robin Lozell's future in cross country? I think her future is going to be very bright. She's a very young, good athlete. It takes a lot of guts to make states her freshman year, and I see her making states in the future and possibly being state champion by the time she's a sophomore. And I'm with Alyssa Harlow, team captain of the girls' cross country team. Alyssa, what do you think of Robin Lazell's work ethic? I think she's very hardworking, and she just loves what she's doing. Um, what do you think about her future in cross country? I think she's going to go very far, and I think she's going to go all the way to collegiate level, and I think that she's hopefully going to break the school record again. How does it feel being as young as you are breaking your own school record? Um, it just makes me feel really excited and proud of myself. How do you prepare for your races to make sure you succeed? Um, I make sure I eat right and hydrate the day before, and then before the race I listen to the songs that pump me up for it. And how did you get into cross country and running? My siblings. Well, there you have it, RHS. Now you know how Robin Lazell achieves her goals and how she succeeds so much. Now back to you, anchors. Thanks, Derek. In club news, today after school, the following clubs will be meeting. Quiz Bowl, PBIS, Chess Club, Extreme Science Club, Science Olympiad, and Gamers Club. Gamers Club meets in room A338. Tomorrow morning, Christian Fellowship Group will meet in the LMC at 745. Key Club will be raising money for the, the Eliminate Project and will have a table at all lunches for students to guess the candy corn. Each guest costs 50 cents and the winner will receive a jar of candy on Halloween. Additionally, participating teachers and Key Club students will be collecting spare change all next week for the cause. Also, Poetry Out Loud will hold its first meeting on November 6th in Mr. Warren Baker's room. Please see him or Mr. Keese with any questions. Attention everyone interested in the Poland trip. There will be a second Poland kickoff informational meeting today at 6 p.m. in the LMC. This meeting is for anyone interested in the trip but could not make the first meeting. See Ms. White or Mr. Wymore if you cannot attend. Also, time is running out to get into the RHS Travel School Scholarship Raffle. Enroll online for the, your Poland trip by October 31st to get your name into the drawing for a $500 travel prize. In general news, last week's Miracle Minute raised over $960 for the Yes Man program of Henry Ford Wyandotte Hospital. Good job, Bears! Students, picture retakes are scheduled for today during 5th through 7th hour in the LMC. Any students who want retakes must return their original picture package when getting photographed. We will not be taking new pictures simply because you do not like your ID photo. The only students who should come down are those with a package to return for retakes or those who have never had an ID picture taken. Also, teachers, if you've not gotten your picture taken this year, we want to make sure you get your staff ID and get yourself in the yearbook. Please come down during lunch or on your prep if it is in the afternoon. The Chicago Art Tour Parent Meeting is scheduled for this Thursday at 5.30 in, in the LMC. The trip will be Saturday, May 2nd through Monday, May 4th, 2015. Any interested Roosevelt students are welcome to sign up. See Mrs. Stiles for details or come to the meeting Thursday. Now here's Shelby Grote with your sports news. Hi, I'm Shelby with your sports report. On Friday, the varsity football team beat Kennedy 36-16. While the whole team played well, the second string had its best game of the season. Unfortunately, during the game, one of the starters, Trenton Webster, dislocated his elbow and was unable to return. Over the weekend, Varsity Volleyball took first in Silver at News Heralds. Boys Cross Country took ninth at Regionals. Dominic Davis took second with a time of 15.54 and qualified for states. Girls Cross Country placed fourth, one higher than last year, and they had two state qualifiers, Robin Lozell at 3rd place, and Maggie Polchak at 6th place. They also have a meet today at Patriots Park. Marching Band had their White Lake competition and placed 6th in their flight with a score of 81.6. Great job, Bears. Now back to the anchors. Thanks, Shelby. In CRC news, the following colleges will be coming for a visit. Tomorrow, Baker College will be visiting during 3rd hour in the CRC, 
and Thursday, Concordia University during six hour in the CRC. In other news, the RHS Marching Band and the Acapella Choir will be performing in Walt Disney World at the beginning of spring break <coughs> this coming April 2015. We are doing many fundraisers to help lower the cost of the trip. Members are encouraged to get their registration completed this month. There is still time to register. Teachers in chaperoning should contact Mr. D'Angelo for more information. RHS will be hosting our first college fair for all students and their parents during parent-teacher conferences. The fair is on November 13th from 5.30 to 8 p.m. The admission reps will be set up in the LMC. Attention art students, the Savannah College of Art and Design is coming to the art room to speak about attending college there on November 6th during first and second hours. If students are ready are already in first or second hour art and want to come, see Ms. Stiles for a field trip permission slip. Student Council is starting the No Shave November contest. Student contestants have to pay $3 to enter and staff contestants have to pay $5. The winner with the best beard will have their picture posted in the school as well as receiving a gift card. <laughs> Happy birthday to Allison Parton, Allison Peterson, Jason Demetrius, and Lindsay McIntyre. I've been Gerald Heimer. And I've been Julie Lack. Keep, Keep it, it cool, cool RHS. RHS.